This is going to be a short recording uh, for EGEE 437 Design of Solar Energy Conversion Systems. Uh, just in following up, we had an essay that was due for Thursday. It was an upload where we were uploading a file that was a PDF and the tech file, T-E-X, where the X is like a Greek chi, so it's pronounced tech, not techs. Uh, a tech file, and the tech file is going to be ASCII format, that's just the raw characters. You are going to uh, pick out two questions from the problems uh, from chapter two and compose an answer in essay form in LaTeX. Uh, you are also uh, required to go out there, look in the news, find two news reports on solar energy, a whole lot of stuff out there. Um, coming up for next Thursday, I want you to be through chapter three. So finish your reading of chapter three. You've already been through chapters one and two, which are pretty uh, light reading. Um, and I want you to dig into chapter three, which we will be <clears throat> discussing in lectures uh, in uh, associated with that content very shortly. Okay, uh, another reminder is to set up your email forward. Make sure that inside of your uh, angel system, you have your emails forwarded correctly, and then subscribe to the forum. You don't want to be left out of this. You will. Uh, we will make extensive use of that. Make a note inside of that forum that we do have an error document, uh, an errata form, which would be the listing of, of the errors in the, in the textbooks. Because the textbook is a first edition, uh, no matter how hard we tried while writing it, there are still typos in it, some of them in equations. Uh, you want to check that each time uh, once you go into a chapter just to make sure you don't have an equation mistake. All right, so let's get started here. The um, <clears throat> tools that we're using for LaTeX, the main ones is going to be called Share LaTeX, and that is going to be both a, a text editor and it's going to be the engine located in the cloud that will compile that text into a PDF document, uh, which many of you are finding already. If you go to the Design of Solar Energy Convergence Systems webpage, you're going to find that. Um, Make sure that you do review all the tutorials there. There are several good uh, documents and videos uh, to get you up to speed on these things. The uh, Share LaTeX, uh, the LaTeX formatting is actually intentionally designed to uh, help you to uh, organize thoughts, to develop better professional development in terms of how you present your work. Uh, you do need to read the directions as you move forward on this stuff. This is not something to be taken lightly. It's going to take time to develop over the semester, and uh, since you are all working on teams, I think you can work together to bring each other up to speed. The other software is called Scilab, and that is really, Scilab is an open source version of MATLAB. And so either MATLAB or Scilab would be accepted in this class. Again, we will not accept Mathematica or other softwares <clears throat> at this point in time. So Scilab or MATLAB formatting. Uh, for solving problems and uh, Scilab has its own text editor which you can grab the ASCII text from and and, pop, and pop into your uh, your LaTeX reports in the future which we'll, we can talk about in class. Alright so you have that <clears throat> that essay template that you're going to be drawing from the Design of Solar Energy Conversion Systems, the DSEX uh, web page. It's the official LaTeX sample document. You download that first and you use that for your essay. Coming up for your next homework, you're going to use the main homework template. The main homework template is the one that has the boxed answers and the like. Uh, so even if we get some of those messed up in the first essay submission, uh, I'm not too worried about it. I just want you to get used to using a template as you move forward. Okay? Now, <clears throat> if you do go, there's my, uh, the, you might want to pause right now to write down that uh, web address above nanomac.ems.psu.edu slash dsex uh, that is going to be the uh, web page for the course where it contains the tutorials, the templates, and the like. Now, if I were using a, a Windows system, a PC for LaTeX, I, or sometimes people pronounce it LaTeX, uh, if I were going to use that, uh, say like outside of the share LaTeX environment, which again, I encourage you to just use the online share LaTeX environment because it's pretty easy to just jump in and go from a template. But if you do have it installed on your <coughs> computers, personal computers, 
you will see that there is a front end and a back end. And I will use this language. The front end is basically a latex specific text editor. And that latex specific text editor is called Tech Maker. It's what you're going to see. It's, it's the, the thing that will edit the ASCII texts. And <clears throat> you can install that on either a Mac or a PC. That's the front end. And then there are people who will have installed it, try to run LaTeX, and nothing will happen. Well, what's happened is that that is the front end. You need to, it's like having the, the chassis of a car without the engine. You need the engine. The engine would be called the back end. And the engine is going to be either MicTech on the uh, Windows operating system or MacTech on the uh, Macintosh operating system, Apple. So it, you don't see the back end. You don't see the engine, but it will do all the work. So uh, Share LaTeX is special because it bundles it all and it doesn't require you to install anything. Let's see, some general uh, cautions here. Uh, just because you download something doesn't mean you can install it. Uh, sometimes uh, software's uh, operating systems like Windows will stop you from installing when it's uh, st something if it's in your in just the the download folder. You actually need to move it out of that folder oftentimes to get something to install. Just a cautionary tone t uh, thing. Also, uh, just because you open something up uh, and and maybe unpack a package like say Scilab doesn't mean you put it in your applications folder. Uh, just simple things, basic things. I'm trying to build you guys up to speed as professional engineers. You should know how to take things out of a download folder and put it into, say, like the applications folder. All right? If you do have questions, stop by in office hours. I'm going to be happy to help you out with that. Now, let's move on. So, <clears throat> broadly speaking, I have some general questions that have been asked in class, and uh, I'm going to just run through those right here. So, Scilab, which is our kind of mathematical software, and LaTeX, which is our typesetting software, they each have specialized editors, text editors. So they each have a text editor that allows you to go in, type away. It will color code your type depending on uh, the encoding of the file. And so the question just comes up, hey, why, why are you asking us to have something like Notepad++ or Sublime or a Text Wrangler for Mac. Um, the idea is that a general text editor is really, uh, it's, it's the multi-tool of the class. And it's a multi-tool of basic engineering. To have a good text editor is really valuable. So uh, it's going to be really useful to you. Those of you, some of you were already emailing me saying, how do I download my uh, tech file out of ShareLaTeX? Now there is a way to do that. It takes a couple of steps. But even faster would be just to grab that center region, click on that text editor inside of uh, Share LaTeX, select all, copy all, or, and then paste it uh, into your uh, general Notepad++. It's an offline way for, doing, for taking that out and moving along and saving it and then maybe uploading it into your Dropbox. It is very useful for quick edits offline when, say, for whatever reason you don't have access to the internet. Um, it's great to pull that out and to do some quick edits on that. Really a, a useful tool. You're going to find it many, many times. Oftentimes if you want to strip formatting out, say you copy something from a Word document or from a web page, you can cut it out of that, paste it into Notepad++ or Sublime or Text Wrangler, and it will strip out the formatting and you'll just be left with the ASCII text which makes um, using that raw uh, character text much, much easier uh, when you paste it into other formats. Okay, next question. Should I use Share LaTeX or should I be going all, all in and installing Tech Maker and uh, my engine like MicTech or MacTech? Um, that's a personal decision. Uh, in the beginning, I really do require you, uh, re recommend, highly recommend you to use Share LaTeX because it's just so matter of fact and straightforward. Share LaTeX also has an entire database of templates for like resumes and science reports and, and uh, publication manuscript formats. Uh, it's really a nimble uh, piece of software. But when you do feel more comfortable with the LaTeX environment uh, and you want to, say, 
gathered together a little more drop-down menu accessibility to all the ins and outs of typesetting, then switch to TechMaker. Uh, I would probably consider doing it after you've had like your first major homework report finished, uh, rather than uh, wrangling with that right now. Okay, uh, you can do the whole semester in Share LaTeX, so it's really not a big issue with me. And as I said before in class, uh, student memberships to Share LaTeX are about eight dollars, uh, and that would allow you to share your document among your teammates. So not much for a whole lot of flexibility just to use Share LaTeX, pretty much like Google Docs. So something to consider. Now, why are we doing this? Why are we really pushing you to understand? editing text, installing software, uh, using mathematical software, using typesetting software. The fact is we need strong engineers inside of solar. We need strong engineers, strong analysts, strong economists inside of solar. Solar is not an easy field. Everything that uh, you might have assumed about solar is probably wrong, other than the fact that it's a really exciting field. So <clears throat> in doing so, we really need to lift you up and we want Penn State graduates who have this solar solar experience to be world renowned, to be the ones that everybody goes to and that, that ends up in the top management positions. So it's an exciting time in solar. We need you to be the best. Also, there is a lot of core engineering training inside of this in terms of cognition development. How do you think through problems? How do you communicate those problems uh, that uh, LaTeX helps enormously with, along with general programming skills that you find in, say, Scilab. Uh, there are basic engineering skills in report making, in computation, in uh, general uh, uh, skills in working with basic computing that you need to have going out into this world and, and you know, just knowing how to use an iPad is not going to cut it as an engineer. So <clears throat> we want you to work these skills. And again, these skills end up playing themselves out quite beneficially in your future classes as well. And this idea of uh, robust formatting of reports is pretty important. Uh, in the engineering trade, in, in basic finance, you have standardized reports more often than not that you're looking to work with. This is a great way to have a robust formatting platform uh, using LaTeX that uh, allows you to have clean reports, repeatable reports across a whole team of people. All right, so that about sums it up for me. Uh, thank you for the short uh, posting, and I look forward to seeing you guys in class. Have a good one.